Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 24 of Let's Platinum Dung and Romper Ultra Despair Girls. Alright, let's talk to these people here. Are you alright? This guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> So, how did he end up like this? How did he end up, end up like this? He was shouting about his wife and they killed his wife. Tortured her. How much longer do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place! No more! I can't take it anymore! Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. Okay, before we move over to the other side, let's collect this. List of charity work performed by Toa Group. Exactly three months to the day has passed since the true ultimate despair died. Though it isn't completely certain, it can be assumed that the world will return to its former karma state. To commemorate the peaceful future, let us celebrate some of Toa Group's charity work. 1. Development of the air purifier effective against the toxic air in the atmosphere. 2. Distributed their inventions throughout the world. 3. Manufactured and delivered we weapons to combat the despair. 4. Supplied high-performance ga gas masks. 5. Built shelters in war-torn areas. And 6. Detoxified portions of the land and sea. Hmm, okay, so it seems like Toa Group has done a lot of work to try and combat the despair. Let's talk to this person. I thought I heard a strange noise earlier. It's okay though, right? We aren't found out? It's going to be just fine. I think. I, I sure hope so, but I really do feel like I can hear them. Their laugh. It's going to be all right. Sure it is, right? Monokumas aren't going to get down here. It, it's going to be fine. It's no use. I can hear them laughing. He's losing it. All right, and this last adult here. Just waiting down here to die. I would rather go up to the surface and die there. I, I can't die in a place like this. Let me out of here. All right, so those are the adults. There's one more over on this side. I guess we can talk to him. I heard you're from Future Foundation. And what's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. Alright, so before we move on, we need to collect some, uh, some special items. So there's one here. This is what is Hope's Peak Elementary. Hope's Peak Elementary is, as the name suggests, an elementary school associated with the world leading educational institution known as Hope's Peak Academy. However, acceptance at Hope's Peak Elementary does not guarantee a seat at the academy. Only scouted students can attend. But applications for Hope's Peak Elementary keep flooding in. Why? Because the elementary is so dedicated to providing a high level of education. Like many private elementary schools, Hope's Peak Elementary uses an entrance exam with an interview segment to judge applicants. Because of this, because of this diligence, many of the elementary students are scouted for Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Elementary is also a research institution dedicated to raising the talent of the children. So it's exactly the same as Hope's Peak Academy, it's just for, for younger students. Uh, this one in here isn't, oh there we go. Okay, we got the daily effort skill. Um, so let's see, this one is pretty good. It increases our experience, so we definitely want to put that on. Costs quite a bit. How much? Five. Interesting. Uh, let's go over to this side. Okay, and in this... Hmm? <laughs> the shadows are mimicked on that side. Alright, this one is in the training of stacking ice cream. <laughs> Finally, a way to skillfully stack ice cream. <laughs> Thinking that she had no special talents whatsoever, Konami Tenri gave up on her current life. After hanging on for 17 years, she finally realizes her special ability on the brink of her death. 
I have the talent to destroy other people's talents. A girl who destroys other people's talents, and a boy who doesn't think he has any talent at all. Just ro what road will these two take? Have I read, heard this one before? So cool. <laughs> hey, you were also a student at Hope Speak Academy, right? What's your special talent? You're right. Didn't I tell you? My talent is writing. They used to call me the ultimate writing prodigy. Amazing! Wow, that's so cool. A novelist? That's really admirable. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to me to be admired by a talentless girl like you. Hmm. <laughs> you think I'm talentless? But really, I'm super good at something. <laughs> you're gonna say you're super good at re reading manga or something, right? Oh. Damn. Wait, you were really gonna say that? <laughs> No, I'm special in tons of ways, like how I use a desk mat instead of a fan when it's hot, or how I only get called on in class when I don't know the answer. <laughs> the only thing abnormal about you is your stupidity. Mm. Kind of wish I was more normal in that area then. Mm. Now that I think about it, your reactions are pretty normal too. Are all pretty normal too. Stop it! No, stop. Don't treat me like a normal person anymore. And? How fast do you run a 100 meter dash? I want to say 18 seconds, that's pretty good. And what's your favourite music? Top 40? <laughs> Horrifying. Jeez, stop it already, you're making me sad. What's your favourite saying? All's well that ends well? And, and your favourite food? Mm -hmm. Um, it's swallow's nest and tuna eyeballs. Hmm? What? Hmm? Hmm? Something wrong? No. No, I must have heard you wrong. What's your favourite food? I told you, swallow's nest, tuna eyeballs, oh, I also like kangaroo meat. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to pretend, pretend we never had this conversation. <laughs> so everything about her is completely normal except for her taste in food, which is like, what What even is swallow's nest and tuna eyeballs? All right, there's the last one here. The tragedy was a Future Foundation conspiracy. Although Future Foundation's stated mission is to help the world recover from the tragedy, our editorial department has received a tip that claims Future Foundation themselves caused the incident in the first place. To no one at this publication's surprise, the true ultimate despair is at the top of Future Foundation. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. By inventing an opponent, they significantly complicated the situation to further plunge the world into despair. This opponent is Future Foundation. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and try to combat uh, wait, that organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional to try to combat the despair with increasingly drastic measures? Hmm. I don't know if they were meant to write the word to instead of and, but yeah. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and try to and try to combat the despair. Yeah, it just feels like weird if it says and, but I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it back and then it'll be like, oh, actually, it's normal. <laughs> anyway, the reason why it took so long for the incident to settle down was because Future Foundation was protecting th the despair. There can be no other explanation. Consider this. The ones who developed the air purifier was not Future Foundation, but Toa Group. Isn't it strange to think that Future Foundation, on whom the fate of the world relies, are technologically inferior to a single company? Hmm... I wonder how that works. All right, I think that's everything. Let me just make sure. So I got list of charity work. Yep. In the training of Stacky Ice Cream. Yep. Um, we got the tragedy was a future foundation conspiracy. That's the one I just picked up. Uh, we got the daily effort skill and what is Hope's Peak Elementary. I'm pretty confident we got everything. So let's talk to Hiroko. We can actually talk to her, but for whatever reason, we can't hand in any lists. So let me talk to her anyway. Yo, Coco and Fufu. Heard you went outside. Well, I figured you would. How should I put it? There's something different about you two compared to these people. What do you mean? How can I say it? The air around you, it's different. You two are always facing forward. But in here... The air is getting heavier and heavier. Everyone's stressed. Stuck in a dark and moldy place like this? How could you not be? Anyway, you went outside. Can you tell me about it? Did you get some kind of clue about people with wristbands? Okay, so we talked to her about that. Um... 
What's going on? Enough dilly-dallying. Hurry up and show her. You always say normal this and normal that, but now you're freezing up? So cruel. What do you mean? Hmm. Nothing. I was just saying something normal, to use your favorite word. Hey, hey. Um, what's up with you two? Okay, and I think we can talk to her one more time for something else. Hey, hey! What, do you both have food poisoning or something? <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Uh, okay, let's definitely go ahead and save. I'm pretty confident we did get everything that we need. Uh, and there's going to be quite a few cutscenes that play out, so the rest of the episode is probably going to be devoted to that. But to let you know, we are literally one collectible and then the collectible that we get for getting A rank away from finishing this chapter. So here we go. It doesn't matter if they're just kids. We have to kill them before they kill us. But the kids have those Monokumas on their side. We have to do something about them first. What do you mean by that? It's like I said, we have to take them out somehow. I'm at my wit's end here. If I stay underground another minute, I'm gonna lose it. I'm telling you, without a plan, a fight right now is far too risky. Haiji, as leader, what do you think? I have everyone's lives in my hands. There's no way I'd put you all in danger. I'm completely against a suicide attack, even for those who are prepared to die. So you want us to just stay here? You're telling us to spend our lives in this shitty place, constantly afraid of those kids? My principle is to not waste lives. As a leader, I cannot accept a plan that defies that. B but I'm not telling you to stay here forever. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Does anyone else have any ideas? Haiji, is it all right if these girls join the conference after you guys take a break? Hello. You two. Why are you two here? I already told you, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. It's not the time to argue. You guys have to get along, especially at a time like this. Regardless, this conference is over. No, not yet. It's not like you've considered all the options yet, right? Remember the idea I brought up before? Did you consider that? I already told you, it's impossible. I understand how you feel, but... Hey, what exactly are you guys talking about? It's about persuading the children. Persuade? That's your idea? It's obviously a little late for that, don't you think? But you guys are all humans. You can come to an agreement with words instead of violence. You really think a group of monsters like those kids can be reasoned with? I bet they'd kill us the moment we showed up to treat with them. Plus this group here? There can't be peace with those kids. You know what they've done. But, but still, why don't you at least try? It's like Shirakuma said, we're all humans. Did you already forget who we're dealing with? Remember what that P.E. Punk showed us? Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all. As hero, I hunted them down and let everyone go free. <gasps> Those brats don't even care about family. Things like persuasion? It will never work. That's right. They're not human, they're demons. And not just that, even if we tried to use family to persuade them, it's not possible. The survivors here don't have any children anyway. Huh? W wait, you mean everyone here doesn't have any kids? But there's so many adults here. It's probably not a coincidence. Those kids are focusing on parents first. W why Who knows? They have a deep-seated hatred of the ones who raised them. It's messed up. It's impossible to persuade a group like that. I'm completely against the idea. But if fighting is impossible and persuasion is impossible, what are you going to do? 
Didn't I already say it? The best plan is to just wait for a while for a good opportunity. And exactly how long is this for a while? I don't know. But now's the time to toughen up and endure it. You say wait and endure. You're just repeating the fact you're not going to do anything. You're an outsider. How could you possibly understand? I am the leader of this resistance. I have to think about the lives of everyone here. What resistance? A useless leader like you? You're even more of a burden than this chick. What did you say? Hey! You too! You don't think about others and just say whatever you want. You're no different than those kids. You're the one who's a child. Complaining, not even doing anything. If you don't like the way I lead, then you can leave. No one is going to stop you. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm leaving. But I know you're wrong. Let's go, Omaru. You're the one who's wrong, Toko. Huh? What are you saying? You... don't understand. You don't understand the feelings of the weak at all. I... I'm not blaming them for being weak. I'm blaming them for using it as an excuse. That's exactly my point. The reason they don't do anything is because they can't build confidence. I would know. You're someone strong. With talent. Chosen for Hope's Peak Academy and Future Foundation. You don't know how people like me feel. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't understand what it's like to be weak. You think I'm chosen? You must be kidding. What's so great about me, huh? I'm a walking inferiority complex. I don't have confidence. I never have. But what's going to change if I just keep saying that? Using that as an excuse every day? I... I learned that... from the killing. I suffered for it, but I did something about it. So for you to say that I was just chosen, like I had nothing to do with it, I won't allow it. Please, wait guys! Oh, fighting is a big no-no! Emergency! Monokumas are attacking us! Why are there Monokumas here? How did the children find out about this place? That's not important right now. Just run! Maybe we should run too. Wait! Please, protect everyone! P protect If this keeps up, everyone will be killed! If you can at least buy us some time! I beg you! Please! We need you! Now's not the time to argue. If we don't fight, our lives are in danger too. Fine. Please right, save everyone! Everyone's going it's to time go. to... How did the Monokumas get here? Do our best here. Uh, you can use whoever you want. I'm gonna try and use Kamaru so I can uh, so I can get as many coins as possible. I probably will have to use Toko at some point. So we'll just keep doing nice shots, trying to get some coins. Come on, come on, nice. 
just... Damn it, Shirakuma, stop trying to help. <laughs> Okay, good. Where is he? Nice. It doesn't really matter if uh, if like the the adults die. Um, hang on a sec. Gotta go over here. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Because I remember, like, I, I lost a few of them. There's one. One went down, but it's alright. Good opportunity to try and get as many coins as possible. Don't want healing hearts. Okay, good. Too many hearts. Nice. Oops. Until I see my parents in Makoto, I can't die yet. Grab this heart. Keep going, keep going. Don't worry, we will we will have an opportunity to use Toko soon. Stop giving me hearts. Coins. All right, I think that's it. Only one adult survived, but that's okay. Secret base defenders. It is terrible. The Monokumas found us and killed a whole bunch of the adults that were uh, hiding out here. Um, but uh, since we're pretty much at the end of this episode, we're going to end it here and continue next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 24 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.